diamonds welcome back so this is kind of a shop my stash in reverse as you know with shop my stash I usually pick out a number of products and try to use those products for the month um, this time around what happened was my little purple basket that I usually keep for my stuff to put away because after I use a product I stick it in there to try and use something else and not go back to it then once that basket is full, I take that time, put it away, or the bestie comes over and reorganizes my collection. This time around, it's been about two and a half months, and all these products I have been using and using and using and going back to them, so I've been really getting a good work into these products. And I guess you could say this is my favorites video for April, May, June. Three months, guys. Three months. So, let's get right into it in no particular order. So, first up is this Illa Masqua Gleam. It's kind of a cream highlighter and it's in a champagne color. Really like to use this with a stippling brush, which is um, awesome to put on your the highest point of your cheekbones. You know, any place that you would want to highlight. I've even used this in the center of my lips, depending on the color. If, if you're using a nude color or even a champagne color, center of your lips, perfect. You've seen this hundreds of times, and this is my Rockin' Republic palette in Chenille, and this is the one I use to set my under eye concealer. Next, I, there's going to be a couple of paint pots, and I'm going to try to go through this video but this quickly, but I think it's going to be long. And this is in Treasure Hunt, which is a goldy, a yellow gold color. And as I told you guys before, for the spring, summer, I don't even know why I say spring, because spring went by so freaking quickly. For the summer, I've really been feeling the golds and the greens, and that's a lot of colors that I've been wearing on and off camera. So again, that is Treasure Hunt. I believe this was limited edition, so you cannot get this anymore. My YSL Touche Clot Radiant Touch number 5.5. Um, a lot of people mistake this as an actual concealer and it's not. It's meant to highlight. It doesn't really give a, too much of a glistening and so that can be good for those of you that don't like the shiny but want the highlighted effect. You can put this on top of your under eye concealer, tops of your cheekbones, down your nose, your forehead, your chin, and your cupid's bow and it gives the same great effect once you blend it out. These two have kind of been working together and it's OCC Lip Tar in Black Metal Dahlia. I do have the, is that my boobs? Oh my gosh. Sorry guys. I do have the um, regular Black Dahlia, but I really love the Black Metal Dahlia. And here is the Black Dahlia Pencil from OCC, which kind of goes with it. Let me see if I can get a swatch here for you guys. Um, I love it. And if you don't have that dark lipstick that came out with the Riri collection, this can kind of mimic that. Or even just the pencil alone can kind of mimic that lipstick for you. This lip gloss and this one, two, I have like three tubes of this one from Milani. And this is their 3D, I mean the the type is actually rubbed off but the color is fashion diva they still sell these this is part of the permanent line and this one over top of a hell any color <laughs> a purple lipstick a nude lipstick it just it's just awesome and I also love to wear it by itself which is why this one is almost done and I have like three other bottles in the drawer and this one is from L'Oreal Color Riche Le Gloss and this color is the Mystic Shine this was limited edition and I just love how it looks and it goes really nicely over any purple, any pastel, lavender, anything like that. Fix Plus. Do I really have to give a description about this one guys? This is just an amazing all around product for every freaking thing you can possibly imagine. But I definitely love this to set my makeup and to help with that glow. You guys know I love to glow. Another product that I use to glow is the Strobe Liquid Lotion from MAC, and this one is in Golden Elixir. I believe this was also a limited edition. It may have come out with the um, Temptation or something collection. I think it was the Summer Collection of 2013. This is a body balm from Lulu Blossom, and it is, yeah, I don't see like a specific scent, but it's great for... Um, Great for cuticles, cracked hands, feet, and elbows. Rich and creamy, nourishing shea butter. 
and as you can see I definitely love to use it it's great just as I said for your feet for your elbows um, your knees and it smells absolutely delicious Inglot's gel liner number 77 these things are tricky guys if you have them you have to use them because once you open them they do begin to uh, get dry and cracked but this is number 77 jet black as an MUA I think these are great because number one is inexpensive even without the pro card so I, I think that's a great one I'm not a fan of max what's that black track fluid line or whatever sorry <laughs> I'm falling Ugh, boobs next is a lime crime lipstick and this is coquette and this is kind of their nudie color nudie color this is one of their nudes I think the only nude and this is just a great color to wear um, I usually pair it with a lip liner next up is the makeup forever flash palette this is the original one i do however want to get the other ones i've been using this a lot more lately for lining my eyes um even for lip colors and um using as bases for eyeshadows as well you can mix them mix them if you could with your color theory as an artist you can use this to actually do an entire face and i'm talking foundation blush eyeshadow and everything that's one thing we learned and that was actually the first lesson we learned in makeup school well when i took the makeup course at empire that this palette if you can't go any if you can't take anything anywhere take this palette we learned how to do foundation blush lipstick eyeshadow you name it we did it with this palette in our first day this is a palette from mac and this is the face kit by rebecca mosses in the plum there were two of these i believe i only got this one because it was called plum you get a blush you get four eyeshadows and you actually get two lip colors but you guys know how i am about lip colors and palettes but this one actually has a little as you can see cover over it so i don't know i may start using it but i'm not particularly fond of it it actually comes with a dual ended brush that i've never used i don't even acknowledge that this thing is in there um, but i mostly just use these eyeshadows this is a great thing to travel with if you're into the neutral color because you've got your look right there sugar pills midori eyeshadow as you've heard me say and i'll probably continue to say it green it's a green eyeshadow and i'm loving green for this season josie mirren whipped argan oil body hydrating body butter and this one is the illuminizing body butter it has a rose gold radiance to it and there it is it smells absolutely delicious a little bit goes a long way and also to help stretch it i actually will mix some with my body moisturizer it gives a beautiful glow to the body and it smells so good guys soleil tan de chanel from chanel this is my favorite illuminating liquid i mix this in with my foundation tinted moisturizer or bb cream for that beautiful glow and you guys have seen me use this a number of times my chanel perfection lumiere foundation i am actually number 94 ombre with an a not the o and this is a buildable foundation which i love because i don't do um full coverage i usually do light to medium coverage and this is great for that because it's buildable it's lightweight and i really don't feel like i have anything on my face with this this is a dior show maximizer base mascara lash primer I got this as a sample so that's the only reason I was using it so that I could use it and get rid of it I really don't see a difference in my lashes when I use this on top of my I mean before I put my mascara on so I guess that was my thoughts on it I don't yeah next up is the Dolce & Gabbana quad and this one is in fabulous and you've got four gorgeous shadows right here let me try not to blind you guys four shadows and of course the one i've been loving is this gold not gold this gunmetal color down here and above it is a green color and i have been going in on that green there guys really really loving it another rockin republic powder and this is angora 
and I use this to contour. I usually use the velvet, but I needed to give the velvet a rest because I actually did not have a backup of the velvet. So I'm using the Angora because I actually have a backup of that one. So I need to get that one done. My Chanel Bronze Universal. Such a controversial product because a lot of brown beauties feel that they can't use it. I, however, I actually use it as an all-over face product. I don't wear foundation or anything like that. I just put this all over. I have a tutorial where I actually use this as an all-over face product. And it just gives a healthy, clean canvas, really. Um yeah that's it now it says that it's a bronzing base i don't know i guess you can use this as a base where you're going to put your bronzer i don't know i've never used it like that i just use it as an all over base product so next is the hourglass ambient lighting palette you've seen this before and the two colors i mostly use are these two over here Hourglass Ambient Blush. This is my favorite one. I have four of them, but this right here, this baby right here, this one is Mood Exposure. It's more of the plummy colored one, and this is one I absolutely love, this blush. I'm trying out the Benefits Their Real Mascara, and I have to say I really, really like this. Um, the number of times I've worn them, I've actually been asked, what lashes am I wearing? And so it's kind of cool to say you know no lashes just mascara love it i don't know why this is here <laughs> another dolce and gabbana quad and this is in mediterraneo and again this green right here is the main reason i got this quad to begin with okay this green is just beautiful absolutely beautiful and has a gold undertone which kind of covers both of my uh, colors for the summer and this gold one right next to it is okay but I mostly go in this quad for this green another lime crying lippy and this is chinchilla which is a gray lavender color I really like this this was actually my first lime crying lippy that I got chinchilla it's a, a grayish kind of lavender you have to be careful with these guys because they're super creamy and in this hot heat of summer they will melt as you can see mine is kind of twisted over to the side so gotta be careful with those now for some lashes that i have to say goodbye to because i have used and reused and reused and these are the ardell um elegant romantic sorry about the noise in the background romantic guys and they have sparkles um rhinestones on them I'm not sure if you can see that and i have used them and used them it's time for those to go along with the cream jbcp eyelashes as well these also have rhinestones on them and these are just great with those out of this world colors and bold looks when i'm going out and my one of my favorites is the cherry blossom xoxos <laughs> And I love the crisscross lashes. I absolutely love the crisscross lashes. And I've worn these again. So all of these actually have to go in the garbage now because I've used them and used them and used them. NYX Butter Gloss. I love these things. I absolutely love these things. They go on so silky. They feel so delicious on the lips. And you get just a faint color which is great for those everyday runs I'm not putting on a lot of makeup and then you have the ones that are more pigmented which are just great now for this thing here this is the bad mama jama here and we're gonna dump this <laughs> gently <laughs> okay my Clinique All About Lips, I have did a review on this before, and this is great when I'm doing my skincare routine. Cleanse, tones, moisturize, exfoliate the lips, put this on, let that set, and then I'll go in with my lip balm. Um, I would not say it's a primer, but it definitely helps to keep your lips super smooth. Um, I recently got this, and I've been using this every day. I actually use it twice a day, and this is the Mineralized Charged Water Moisture Eye Cream. 
Um, I try to remember to go in with the other eye cream that I have from them, the one that's in the tube, and I never remember that, so this ends up being the one that I use the most. Another paint pot in Perky, and this is a pink base, but it actually goes really nicely under neutral colors. And y'all know I'm not that big of a neutral eye color but lately for like Sundays and we've had a couple of events that we had to go to and I've been doing neutral colors this is the makeup forever rouge artiste intense number 24 another nude lippy that is covered like lip liner or something here it's another nude lippy and I usually pair this with max um, chestnut lip liner you guys know how I feel chestnut lip liner is the way to go Two Face Lash Injection. Not much to say about this. I, 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 yeah. Mm. I don't know. It's, what does it say here? Extreme Volume. I, I didn't get that. Urban Decay 24 7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Electric. Gorgeous color. Gorgeous color. Great to line the eyes. Great to use as a base as well. But if you've got sensitive eyes, I would be careful with putting those. In your waterline because I found when I got too close to my waterline my eyes got irritated so here's the Stila Kajal eyeliner in Tiger's Eye a nice bronzy brown color great when you're doing smoky eyes YSL this is number three oh I mean look at this it, it just it's all can you see that <laughs> Can you see how messy it is? I mean, I can't even scroll it down all the way, guys. Look, it, well, actually, no, it is all the way down. <laughs> it's all the way down, and it's just, you got to be careful with these, because they, they do, in this heat, they don't do well with the heat. My Inglot Cream Foundation, I am number 33. Um, I find this is actually a little too, just a tad bit too dark for me. So I will um, thin it out with a little of the illuminating liquid to help with the glow and just a tad bit of moisturizer. And that kind of helps it thin out for me and be a good color. And then once I go in with concealer and contour and everything, it works. Dior Lip Polish Smoothing Lacquer, and this is number 003. I love the Dior containers. I think they are so unique and different. I'm going to actually put some on right now. Beauty Blender. Diamonds. Riri Diamonds Cream Color Base. Now this is one of those multi-purpose products that you can use on your cheeks to highlight you can use them on your lips um, I use them on my cheeks very rarely I mostly I will admit I mostly go in and rub this on my lips I just take a little bit rub it on my lips and go gives a nice simple frosty kind of look to the lips maybe top it with some clear gloss or anything and that's that's it Revlon lip butter and peach parfait this one and creme brulee have been my go-to just in the house lippies i actually put both of them on together and that's i don't know if you get that <laughs> but it has a nice shimmer to it and if you don't like shimmery lips you might want to avoid that this is from the collection privy um, but I think this is L'Oreal. That's what I want to say. Yep, and this is Julianne's Nude, which is very pretty. It's a, it's a pinky nude. So, I'm not sure if you can see that. And these, in terms of packaging, they remind me of that collection that Matt came out with, Pedro or something. I don't know. Urban Decay Lip Junkie. This was the sample that came in with the palette. I've actually been using this a lot to mix with pigments to make lip glosses. This right here, my Holy Grail products. There's probably like three more in this bag somewhere. Sample size. Love it, love it, love it. I mean, you've heard me talk about this so much. Do I have to say it again? Alright, let's get some more stuff out. Another Beauty Blender. Okay, this is my MAC 
a powder, naturally cool liquid powder in Cajun. I don't know if I'm supposed to feel cool when I put this on. I never get a cooling sensation. I don't know why it's called cool, magically cool. I don't feel magical and I don't feel cool when I put this on. But it's a good setting powder. Okay, I've been using this and I'm I'm kind of on the bench with this. I, on the fence, I should say. I, I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I hate it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really in between with this mascara. Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. This was a sample and I think it's officially done. I, I tried to use it and I got one eye done and, and that was it. So this has to go in the garbage. Love, 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 love the felt tip point that it has. I don't know if you can see that. The felt tip point that it has. It glides smoothly. I really feel like I have control over this. You guys know I'm I'm not fond of liquid liners, but this one right here, there was something about this one that just was awesome. What's that here? So the dip brown pomades. Um, there's the auburn, and I also use the ch I mostly use the chocolate, but I rotate with the auburn, and these are great. Once these suckers set. That's it. They are set and I don't have to worry about this. But this was the first one I got and this was in Auburn. Yeah. It's a brown thing. It's a vibrant thing. A vibrant thing. A vibrant thing. Okay, this brush from BH Cosmetics. This is from their Pop of Color, what color art, pop art something collection. And I've been using this a lot for my foundation. Wet this with some Fix Plus and it blends in nicely blends in smoothly effortlessly wonderful brow set in girl boy i always say boy girl and my girl tia always corrects me it's a girl boy this is the gold one i actually like to use this um near the uh the front of the brow not the tail the front of the brow and then blend it back told you there was more paint pots <laughs> soft ochre paint pot like next to painterly this is uh for me a must have i love this love this love this i'm almost to the bottom and i need another one this one right here processed magenta which drives me crazy because it's this hot pink but i've been using it a lot when i do wear purple shadows and so that's why it's it's in here purple shadows and this on the base it, it kind of changes up the color just a bit but it looks really nice so here is my smashbox limitless eyeliner in onyx i don't know i think this was limited edition i think this came out with their holiday collection but this is the only pencil i have been able to put in my waterline that does not make me tear up that does not make my eyes burn that does not make me go blind this is the only one so i use it sparingly because i don't think they make this one anymore so if any of you out there knows where i can find this maybe a cco let me know because this is awesome like i said another two face shadow insurance this Sephora gloss has been a great grab and go, leave it in my back pocket when I go out to run errands or something. It's just a, a, a really simple, it looks colorful, but it, to me it really, once you put it on, you see all the shimmer. You definitely see the gloss and the shimmer, but it's not much color. It kind of becomes the color of my lips. And this one is blinding me. This one is swagger. Lime Crime in the Lilac. Hello. Like, do I really need to explain this one? The Lilac. Gorgeous color. Gorgeous color. If you don't have that Nicki Minaj one, I think it was Nicki, Nicki 2 or something like that, you can definitely go and grab this one. This brush I've been using a lot to contour. You see how brown that sucker is? <laughs> I need to wash this bad boy. This has been my contour lover, okay? This, yeah, me and this brush, we got some history together. And let's keep going. I told you guys, it's been a couple of months. <laughs> so another one is Idyllic. This is another paint pot. This was limited edition. It's a nice rusty color. And I actually like to use this under the gold shadows as well as burgundy shadows 
this Smashbox um, Smashing Soft Light Smashing Highlight. Beautiful color. Now, the funny thing with this, it kind of has, when you wear it, it kind of gives this um, pinky kind of undertone. Let me see if you can see that there. See that? It gives you this kind of rose, pinky, goldy kind of color. So I actually like to use that, use this on um, under my brow bone. I was trying to wear it on the cheeks. I just didn't like the way it looked there. So I keep it on the brow bone. NYX Lip Liner in Mauve. Great, great to use with some nude lips. This blush from Wet n Wild that I had forgotten I had. And then once I took it out and I started using it, I couldn't put it back in the drawer. It's just an absolutely gorgeous color. Wet n Wild Plum Berry Pencil. Use this when I'm doing purple brows. Yes, purple brows. Not powering your face, but more of a... Oh my gosh, your brows are purple. Yeah. This one right here. Gorgeous. 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 Yes. And this is Lip Glass Rhythm. And I believe this was also from the Summer Collection of 2013 or 2012. And this is the lipstick from that collection as well. And it's called Feel My Pulse. So of course wear these two together well you don't have to but I did just because I'm a little OCD and let's swatch this for you look at that love it love it okay I'm running out of space here so this shadow is called past midnight from Mac and it is a mineralized eyeshadow so you've got the lighter color here and then you've got the darker purple I mostly use the darker purple obviously <laughs> I mostly use the darker purple I really haven't touched that I really haven't touched that so that's an awesome um, collection too this is oh yeah this is the bombshell fluster the one stick this is one of those sticks that are multiple so you can use them on your cheeks I use these on my lips actually it gives a nice little tint to the lips This is my MAC Select Cover Up Concealer in NC45 and as you can see, it is done, it is empty, I have to put this in my box to back to MAC. Another concealer is the Kat Von T, Kat Von T, Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer, which I actually have a few of these in my kit which are great for covering up tattoos. Because she is a tattoo artist, so when she made her tattoos and foundation, she made sure it was cover up, cover everything up. And this one is Deep 34. It's another one I use under my eyes to highlight. Re Re Matte Nude. My bestie and I, we were on a hunt for this lipstick because when it when I placed the order online, they took it out my uh, cart, but the bestie happened to see a pop-up Mac at a mall that we always go to and it just showed up and no one was in there, guys. No one was in there. They just had the Riri collection in the store and no one was buying anything. <laughs> <laughs> she went in there and she grabbed she was the first person to buy from that store from the Riri collection so love it sugar pill after party great for a pop of color under the eyes with a neutral eye or a smoky eye hell any eye you want this I find just gives an awesome pop of blue underneath um, I used this one a lot the past couple of weeks for prom girls they wanted a pop of blue because a lot of the dresses that the girls that I worked on were wearing blue dresses. So this was the blue that I used. This crap right here. This voluminous false fiber lashes mascara from, is this L'Oreal? I think this is L'Oreal. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks okay it it just this is crappy this is going in the garbage it's horrible it just clump 
City. I don't see no fiber lashes. I don't see no voluminous. Nothing. I'm going to stick with the original voluminous. This shit got to go. Okay. This Good Times. Love this. I've been pairing this with a lot of the nude lips that I've been wearing lately on top of. And um, Chestnut Lip Liner. Okay, so this one I recently got earlier in the month of June with the Osborne collection and I am in love with this. Oh my gosh, of course I got the purple one which is Dodgy Give. Dodgy Girl. And it looks like that and I pair this with um, chestnut lip liner. Yes, I do. Chestnut lip liner and it's good to go. Love that lipstick. This brush right here is from Sedona Lace, the Vortex Luxe Essentials, and this is the face brush. This brush I use to put on my highlight, if I'm using a powder highlight, I use to put on a blush, I use to set under my eyes, I use this blush for everything, okay? I, I, I will dust it off and go into the next product and use this brush. I love the shape of it. I love the handle. I do wish the handle was a little longer and that's just because I'm not fond of, really fond of short handles. But I love the chocolate and rose gold. It's just so sleek and I love it. Color tattoo in bold gold. Of course, because I've been doing a lot of gold lately. And this is also great by itself. Use this on your eyes, let it set, and then go on with the black liner and you're good to go. Groundwork paint pot for those everyday looks. This is great by itself, guys. It really is. Put it on, blend it up, and then pop on a liner or hell, just pop on lashes and go. This is flat out fabulous. Yes, guys, I've been, you know, getting into my pinks and magentas and lippies like that. Not often, but this is the one I've been going because this is my newest one that I got a few months ago. And I didn't even know they still sold it. I went to, this was a back to Mac product. And when I saw this, I said, oh, that looks interesting. And it's actually a really nice color. It's not that everyday color for me, but when I've been wanting to get that boom in your face lip, I've been going for that. Baby Lips Doctor Rescue. This is the clear one, and this one isn't too cool. I think I'm almost done with this. Yeah, I'm almost done with that. Love it. Love the smell, too. It has a medicated smell, but it's not an overpowering smell, and feels good on the lips. Nice moisture, and that's it. The Chocolate Brow Pomade from Anastasia. This is an everyday use. Again, I do rotate between the Auburn, but now this is the one that I mostly use. Josie Marin, and these are her Little Argan Lip Treatments. I love the containers, and these are just really cute. I kept this one in the kitchen so that while I'm cooking or cleaning or whatever, if I feel my lips are dry, if I find that I'm licking my lips too much, I'll go put this on. I can't say anything major happens, like, you know, they don't become buttery super smooth, but they do get moisturized, and it feels nice. So this is the other lip butter. This is creme brulee that I've been loving and I mix it with the other one. But this is also great by itself. Nice, simple, simple. I think if you're of a fairer skin tone, it might work a little better for you. But for me, it, it works just right. I don't need that major nude color payoff from a lip gloss. Here is Velvet Teddy. This is a lipstick that I got fair about four months ago, four, maybe five or six months ago, and I had not used it. I heard so much about Velvet Teddy, and then I got it, and I fell in love with it. And I've been wearing that with that uh, lip glass that I showed you from MAC for good times. I've been wearing this with this and chestnut lip liner. MAC Luster Jobs, and this one is in Sun Rush. Mix this in with my foundation, tinted moisturizer, BB cream, or even just my moisturizer for my face if I'm not wearing foundation. It gives a great, nice, fresh glow. And we're coming down to the wire, guys. 
Okay, Bare Minerals Lip Gloss, and this is in the Apricot Nectar. A great color just to throw in your purse and just put it on when you're not in the mood for anything on your lips. Nothing big, nothing major, but it's just nice to have. Oh, sorry, can you see that? Um, I do, for me, find this just to be a little sticky than I would like but still doable this is mineralized rich lipstick in glamour area this is the only one I have from that collection and that's what it looks like let's get a swatch going right here there it goes And this one, I kept that in my purse. I almost went frantic because I thought I had lost it. This is a Mark lip gloss from Mark by Evan. This, they actually call it Juice Gems. And this is in... Oh, what color is this? I want to say Juicy Honeydew. And that's what it looks like. This is another one that I actually use to mix pigments to make a gloss. It has a little shimmer to it. So if the um, pigment is matte that's good to add just a tiny bit a tiny bit of shimmer to it but you only want to use a little bit of this as well because it is a thick consistency my Dior skin nude BB cream I am in number five oh sorry zero zero four as you can see I've been pinching because I'm, I'm down to the wire I'm down to the last of it I love this stuff I definitely have to get another one this, for me, is the best BB cream I have come across. Um, it's on the much higher end than, you know, MAC or Smashbox. But for me, I, it's definitely worth... I got this, what, sometime last year, and I'm just coming to the end of this. Um, I have foundations that I haven't even finished yet. But this bad boy right here is so light. It blends so smoothly. It goes on evenly. I, I love this. I love this. And I love the fact that even though it's a tube, it has a pump. That is just awesome. Lumi Eyeshadow by Sugar Pill. Now this is a pigment. You know, Jane of all trades. This is like a pigment of all trades. I have worn this on my lid. It, it just... I love the fact that depending on the light, you get that green effect in it, it and that works for me because I've been loving green lately. So this also in your tear duct, guys, put this sucker in your tear duct and it just takes your look to a whole nother level. I've mixed this in with a little clear gloss. It's just, I love this pigment. I'm so glad I, I got this. This was one of the few that I did not have because I said I don't want no white pigment. But then when I saw, I think it was uh, some some girl, <laughs> I don't remember who it was, she did a tutorial and she put this just in her tear duct. And I said, OMG, why don't I have that? <laughs> so I, I grabbed it, yeah. Next up is a Mary Kay at Play. Just a, a lip gloss, a simple lip gloss, quick to put on your lips in the house so it actually stays on my vanity and as I walk by I will grab it and just put it on no problem cold chemistry by sugar Bell. isn't that just gorgeous that's just a gorgeous color it's a purple color if you hear George in the background that's my four-year-old I'm sorry turn that down baby it's just a gorgeous deep purple I love it Look at that. Look at that. Matisse Elite Blush, and this is in Peaches and Cream. This is one that I've been loving to use. It reminds me of the Inglot blush that I used that I had to, you know, put aside because I was using it too much. So it's a great flush of color. Nice, pinched. You know, it looks like you just got pinched. Really. It's awesome. Makeup Forever Lab Shine Diamond Collection, and this is uh, D22. Simple peach lip gloss. Put it over nude lippies that I've worn, and it just it goes fine. It doesn't really give off too much of that peach color, but you'll get the little bit of the shimmer. 
my matte concealer MC45 Studio Finish just for under my brows. I swear guys, this concealer never seems to end. No matter how much I say I gotta hurry up and use this so I go back to MAC this container, it never ends. It never ends. This is a Glamour Doll Eyes Pigment in Vanilla Unicorn. This is full to the top and I've already opened it before and you know it got everywhere. So I love their products. I have almost her entire collection when she comes out with limited edition collections I try to get them all and this was an OTM and it's a white but it reminds me of Lumi it kind of has the same effect as Lumi so nice for highlight tear duct color great here's another of the 3d glitzy glosses that I showed you the other one from Milani and this one is in Starshine this is a more pink one and this one is great because it doesn't give off a lot of color. The other purple one that I showed you, it'll give off just a tad bit of pigmentation on your lips. This one doesn't give off any, but you do get that glossy, sparkly, glittery shine on your lips. This right here. I mean, who has not been on the hunt for this product? Everybody and their mama's uncle, daddy from their cousin's father's side, th twice removed, has been looking for this product. This is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Love. It dries to a matte finish. That is the only thing I hate. But let me give you a nice swatch of that. And that's what it looks like. It's a beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous purple color but it dries to a matte that's my only issue with it so I will go and I'll take I'll use this lip gloss on top of it I'll use this lip gloss from Estee Lauder or I'll use that purple that I showed you from Milani on top of it and it's just beautiful it looks beautiful by itself but I'm not a big matte lip person so that's why I have to top it with shadow lips lip glosses I'm sorry and this is a lip gloss from Estee Lauder in Violet Rebellious Violet Sparkle. I mean, right here. And that's what that looks like. And it has a very sweet watermelon, watermelon, <laughs> watermelon smell to it. Love that. And the final three products, guys. Final three final three well four because I've been using this little tray from Stila this came from their metallic eyeshadows they have with the little jar of fluid print whatever it's called I use this when I'm mixing lip colors or when I'm mixing my um, shadows or pigments to um, make them more like paints to put on the eye this lipstick is in Yash another nice brownie nude color that I've been wearing with my chestnut lip liner guys seriously chestnut is the way to go that chestnut lip liner is the bomb that come here is another one of the collection privy and this is um, Eva's nude and let me get a swatch I'm all swatched out guys <laughs> now we gotta go on the inside of the arm I don't think you can see that can you see that oh, I'm gonna break my arm right here Ah, there we go. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. I'm breaking my wrist just to show you a swatch of this. Um, these lippies were actually really nice. I was very hesitant to get them for a while when I first saw them, but I'm glad I grabbed those two. And finally, this is the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliate. One second. <sighs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> this is the... Ooh, boobs. <laughs> This is the Lip Exfoliator from e.l.f. Um, now, you know I'm all about exfoliating the lips. This works well. You definitely get a scrub, but my damn, I feel like it takes my entire lip off. So, I've had to kind of tweak how I use it. I don't use this on my top lips. I find when I use it on my top lip, my top lip is sore for days. I will gently rub it across my bottom lip and then rub my two lips together with whatever of the scrubbers have gotten on my lip. And then I go back and I do wipe it. Again, 
it's warm guys you want to be careful what the hell is that you know so be careful with these products it's only three dollars would i get it again no would i recommend it sure if you want to use to um scrub your lips what's good is because it's like this you can keep it in your purse so if you're on the go you know sometimes you may eat something or drink something and your lips may start to peel or whatever the case is you can take this and kind of quickly rub and get all that dead skin away and go back and put your lipstick on but i don't use this often i i've gone and used the lip scrub that i created well there's no biggie to it <laughs> but the lip scrub that i make myself and i keep in a jar but when i don't get to that when i don't remember to use that or i don't think to go in the fridge and use that i grab this because it's right on the dresser give a quick rub on my lips especially if i'm kind of in a hurry and i need to go now and i don't have time to want to sit there and let it sit on the lips for five minutes this is the great way to go and that is it guys my bag is empty <laughs> Now I've had to put all this stuff away. Thank you so much for tuning in. Sorry for the lengthy video. I hope you all have an awesome day. Bye.